Hey guys, enjoying our reaction videos? If you are, please click the link to the reacted video in the description and show the creator lots of support. Thanks guys. Magic Fun House. Oh dear. Magic Fun House. Do you know what that term, what that phrase means? Do you know? Oh, okay. Yes, the Magic Fun House. Yes, when I was a kid, the county fair came to town and the man did invite me into the Magic Fun House and he showed me some magic tricks and it was, it was I, at first I thought it was, you know, the, it was a magic trick that was going to incorporate the ring toss game. You know how you have the ring toss game? Um, and you got to toss the ring on the peg that's sticking straight up like this, except in the Magic Fun House there was only the peg. I didn't, couldn't find any rings. But the man showed me the peg and apparently I won. But that notwithstanding, Magic Fun House is the name of Brandon Rogers' new series. So you guys need to be supporting. And you didn't know that? I you need didn't to, know that. You better have known. I'm not taking the slap back anyway. I don't give a shit. write the past of Curtis. Do what? Someone write a book called The Past of Curtis and it's all your... Oh, no, and whoever wrote it would get arrested right along with me. It's, the, it's that fucking bad, yeah. Yeah, Magic Fun House. A totally different Magic Fun House. Um, Brandon's is going to be funny. Mine wasn't that funny. Well, it depends. I mean, if, I you, mean, were, if, if you were the if you were the carny, it was kind of funny. Um, if you were me, it was kind of like... Normally, it would be something that would like, scar someone for life. But I was just like, hey, sometimes dick happens. Shit happens. That's you know, oh, right. but that magic fun has this name branded the new show. You guys gotta make sure you're supporting him. It's and it looks like it's gonna be hysterical. And today we're gonna watch Aristocrats joke. Aristocrats. Parentheticals. Offensive, my favorite thing. And you guys have been telling me that this is one of his best ever, which means I'm about to pee. So it's that's gonna be fun. It's an aristocrat. Uh, me. Okay. Do I look drunk? No. Okay. So a family, a mom, a dad, a brother, a sister, a baby, and grandma's, they grandma's there for fun. Too. They walk into a talent agent's office and they, they tell the agent, we got a great act for you, it's going to knock your socks off. And the agent goes, we don't do family acts, they're too cute. And the, and the, the dad says, ah, oh, but this is a kind of cute in a way that you've never seen before. You're going to like it, I promise. The agent says, all right, even tells you got jokes two minutes, let's see what you got. The mom and dad start profusely making out, and the agent goes, well, it's a weird opener, but I'll stick with it. Sure. It's not so bad. I would. Well, wait until the kids start going at it, too. Tongue in cheek, literally. And then the sister starts <laughs> to kiss the dad. The mom starts to eat out the boy's yeah. asshole. Pretty soon, it's like the British royal family. family is locked in a terrible orgy that there's no escape from. They have reached the point of no return. Yeah. That is a and terrible orgy. I didn't think there was such a thing. To rotate every whole family, even the baby, is being used as a dildo. Except for Grandma. <laughs> it's like the county the fair. Rotation of orgy, because someone's got to be there to lick the dirty parts as they go by. And now there's just sweat and cum and piss and there's blood because things get crazy. But it's okay. It's, it's okay. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Well, so I'm in. Now the agent is. Uh, the agent's already called 911 by now. <laughs> He started dialing when he noticed the son <laughs> sticking a glass rod up his penis and oh. bending it like a oh, oh. stick. I want to see that. Of pops. And then Again. he fucks his sister with his little tiny baby dick. She's not loving it. He gets a little She's not loving it. the bloody, cummy <laughs> glass shards bitch. into his sister's child cunt. That wasn't part of the act. Meanwhile, mom's <laughs> blowing dead. Right in front of the kids. Grandma's eating out the baby's asshole. The baby's eating cat food. By now it's probably a good time to see that the mother is retarded. And not just acceptably retarded. Wheelchair retarded. Which is great because those drool a lot, so you always got a lubed hole. Which is exactly what they were using. <laughs> Wasn't sure which one she hated more. Oh is he making this up as he goes back on the head back? Literally every bodily fluid you could think of was just smeared across this poor agent's office, especially the tears. I haven't forgotten about Grandma. She gets up on top of the agent's desk and pulls out a crossbow, and she shoots a, a grappling hook into the ceiling and rappels down off the desk what? across the room, pussy first onto the grandson's dick. No. They both fall over. He, he cracks three ribs. He dies. <laughs> 
sucked out of him by the orgasm he was having shooting his little cum load upside grandma meanwhile dad's busy punch fisting the daughter's front butt mom's smearing her shitty colostomy bag all over her developing tits oh <laughs> the baby. i forgot about the baby so, its head came off somewhere <laughs> Dad picks it up, God, you might be thinking, oh, a decapitated baby's head. But the dad's thinking, oh, a new hole right here. So what do we do when we find a new hole? We make it bigger. We make it bigger. <laughs> well, here's where it gets close. Here's where it gets close. Now mom has fallen out of the chair, and she's convulsing on the ground because at some point during the act, she missed her, her dose. They put the headless baby's corpse into the wheelchair, and they, they tie a long ribbon across the room, and they use it as a slingshot to slingshot the baby out the window it barely missed the agent's head the brother's <laughs> the side of the daughter right. but he's not attached to it she cut it off and is using the blood as you can't tell the difference between the brother and the sister <laughs> the brother pulls out a, a noose yeah. and ties it to the chandelier oh, puts shit. her neck through it flat out hangs herself right <laughs> obviously the family uses it as a pinata you can't <laughs> over and over with with metal bats by the way you can just imagine how the crunches turn into softer and softer beats, you know? Because you're just breaking her into fine bits from the inside. You can imagine what's dripping on the ground. Oh my Shades God. of red Here he does. And, and, and grain for some reason. <laughs> that's dripping out of her as well. We start spinning her. So all of her fluids oh, are just shit. shooting across the room. At this point, Dad has filled two condoms fully with cum and starts using them as, as cum chucks. Cum chucks! <laughs> dead dog. She's actually not dead yet. She's still dying. <laughs> did I mention the family's black? You thought they were white this whole time. I did. Oh my god. Look, look, look I did. There. Said that too soon. The last <laughs> memory she'll ever have is her dad's cum in her eye. Uh, the last memory she has is her father's cum in her eye right before she blacks out. And the agent goes, I've never seen an act like that in my life. What do you call yourselves? And the dad limps up. He's limping because you can imagine in this terrible sex act, the shit gets broke. One of his eyes is dead. He limps up to the agent's desk like a Walmart employee and throws his hands on it. He says, can I see your pocket knife? So the agent says, all right, this man seems sane. He gives him, <laughs> <a> sure, <laughs> give him something sharp. And the dad carves the aristocrats into the desk and fills those grooves with cum before taking that pocket knife and slitting his own throat and dying next to his wife who's still breathing involuntarily mind you because the oxygen tanks are still pumping her lungs the whole family's dead at this point this wasn't even an act this was a mass suicide disguised as, a, as an audition it's part of their religion the cops arrive and the agent is arrested for mass murder <laughs> what? I need a therapist. Oh. What I need a the therapist. Fuck? That was that was the great you know why that was the greatest ever? Because you guys know that it followed with this world. And I, I apologize for sweating so much. First of all, he makes me laugh too goddamn hard. And second of all, I was trying to do this one without turning the air conditioner on so you didn't have a buzz in the background. You're getting a buzz in the background because it's freaking hot in here. But <laughs> Here's the best part. This is why Brandon Rogers kicks my ass. Now, mind you, I first went on stage in 1984 to start my stand-up career. So I've been doing, I've been entertaining for 22 years, and he tells a joke better than I do. That pisses me off. But here's why what he does is so cool. You know, you guys who've been with us for a while know, I love nothing more than a joke with a really long build-up yeah. for a shitty punchline. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Quasimodo, right? Yeah, Quasimodo. <laughs> I love those jokes. Brandon went up me. He went, did a really long setup, and didn't even really have a punchline. <laughs> Basically, just, just the agent got, got arrested, arrested for, for, mass for mass murder. There was no actual punchline, which makes it fucking awesome. <laughs> that was one of the greatest stories ever. I am going to go watch this again right now. And look, look at the middle right. That guy looked like he just heard the whole thing. <laughs> oh, that's Brandon. Yeah. I didn't realize it at first. He changes his hair. Uh, that, that's the perfect one to be it. That's the perfect reaction to be in there. That's what we did. No, that's not what we did. Oh, no, that's what the guy... Oh, we're back at the fair. Oh. With the ring toss. No, okay, uh, so after I kept saying... No, let, let me finish. So after I kept saying, where's the ring to toss? Where's the ring to toss? He goes, no, 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 you don't need a ring. Come here. You're going to come over here, and now what I want you to do is close your eyes and go like this. 